Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, well the basics of trigonometry. We're using Sokotoa, but before we actually start using that, uh, we're going to talk about just labeling sides in this uh, video here. Okay, so what? So normally, guys, in using with Pyth using Pythagoras, you would have normally had two sides, and you're trying to find the missing side. But with Sokotoa, what um, well with trigonometry, what happens is that you're given some sort of angle here and then you are given a side uh, so say for example they give you this side and then they ask you to find what x is what the hypotenuse is now the problem is um, you can't use Pythagoras because you don't actually have this so I guess this is where the angle comes into play and you've got to use Sokotoa uh, so that's one example the other type of question that they could ask is where they have something like this where they have two sides so they might have this as 5 and 7 and they ask you to find out what the angle is. All right, so basically we use Sokotoa in two situations. When you are given one angle and one side, you have to find missing side. All right, or you're given two sides and you have to find the angle. All right, so this is when we use Sokotoa. But to use Sokotoa itself, uh, we've got to label some sides first, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next slide. All right, so this, obviously you would have seen Sokotoa, you said um, adjacent, like in Sokotoa, the A stands for adjacent, O stands for opposite, and H stands for hypotenuse. So how do you actually put this in a picture format? So say, for example, you have an angle of uh, 40 degrees here okay if that's your angle then you need to label the three sides so you've got three sides of the triangle and obviously you've got three um, well titles to actually give to the sides of the triangle so if you take well we already know where the hypotenuse is because that's opposite the right angle so we can say that is going to be the hypotenuse now the word op the side that's opposite to the angle so if you look at it, this is where the angle is, and the side that's opposite to the angle ends up being this. So this is going to be opposite. All right, and of course adjacent means it's the angle that's actually, si uh, sorry, it's the side next to the angle. So right next to the angle is known as adjacent. Okay, so let me show you another diagram. So say for example, in this case, this angle here is 50 degrees then your hypotenuse hasn't changed because your hypotenuse is still that longest side the side that's actually opposite the angle that's that so that's going to be opposite and then the side that's right next to the angle is adjacent okay so it's really important that you guys understand this the, the key to solving trigonometric problems is that getting that uh, sides right because if you get the sides right then you can um, follow up with the problem itself. But if you get the sides wrong, then you're going to have some issues solving this uh, problems. Okay, let me give you another example. So here's my two triangles right there. So let's say I, I'm going to put an angle of X here, an angle of X here. If that's the case, then my hypotenuse is opposite the right angle triangle. So there's my right angle triangle and opposite it is the hypotenuse. The side that's opposite is there, opposite the angle, and then the side that's adjacent to the angle is this one here. And on the right hand side, my hypotenuse is going to be the longest side, which is opposite the right angle triangle, and the side that's opposite the angle is opposite, and the side that's right next to the angle is adjacent. Okay, so what I would like you guys to do is, I've given you two triangles here, and I'm going to put X here, so that's the angle X, and then here's another angle X. What I would like you to do is, um, you know, just pause the video here, and just see if you can sketch this uh, little picture, and just label the sides yourself to see whether you get it right or wrong. So, pause right now. Cool. I'm hoping that you've paused and you've actually copied this diagram and uh, put some labels so you can check your answers. 
So the hypotenuse in, in the left-hand side is opposite the right angle triangle, which is that. Then we have our opposite side, which is opposite the angle. That's opposite. And then we have adjacent, which happens to be the side that's next to the angle. On the right-hand side triangle, our hypotenuse is this side here. Our side that's opposite to the angle is going to be that. And of course, our adjacent side next to the angle is going to be that. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. And in the next video, I'll actually show you guys how to find uh, a missing side given one side and one angle. All right. Uh, that's the next video in this uh, playlist. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below.